Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video, we are, we are going to be learning how to create a stutter component dynamically. So when you create a stutter component dynamically, you have to create it via code and you, have, you also have to set the properties and the events for, for that component with code as well. Let's start by adding by creating a splitter, a splitter component and aligning it to the top just to this button. Then after that we'll align it to the to panel one and then to panel, to panel two. So let's start. By adding a variable. We'll call it then splitter. And this is of type D splitter. Okay. And then we say then splitter colon equals t splitter dot create. And then this create constructor wants an owner. So an owner is basically responsible for destroying the component. And we want the form to be responsible. So we want to so type the form name here. Because, of, because the form will be responsible for destroying the component. Then we say then splitter dot parent we'll make the parent the form also so we'll say frm home because you want the um splitter to appear on the form so let me just quickly go and see if i can't get um wait i have a photo here on my computer so to find it there it is okay, so you can actually pause the video and read this that's the difference between uh owner and parent so pause the video and read this if you want Okay, so let's continue. Let me say then splitter dot let's give it let's say you say to align the align to the top L top. You can also leave out this if you want. And I just give it a top property, then splitter dot top to make the top okay, this panel to um Top is 73, so we can type in 73, or we can take this button's height, which is also 73. So we just make a top color equals the um, button one dot height. Okay, let's go here. We click it, and now this particular component is here created, as you can see. Okay, oops. So now we can resize the button. Yes, now let's actually align it to the left. AL left. We'll make it equal to the panel one dot width. That means it will appear um, basically here. So let's compile. Now you can see that we can't resize this button either any of these panels. Let's create it. And now, oops, now it's on this side, it seems. Okay. Let's make it width. Uh, let's make it panel 2 dot left property. That's a better one to, to use. No, it's not. Okay, let's just make it plus 50, for instance. So it will appear somewhere here. No, it doesn't appear somewhere there. Oops, because it's a top. Ah, oh, my mistake. Sorry guys, it should be left. Okay, let's try that again. It's nowhere, let's create it. You can get it here, it appears now. So now we can resize the panel 1. And we can do the same by just aligning to the right. L, right. Let me make it. Uh, you can leave it like that. Create it. Okay, now let's create it on this side. Okay, let's just say. Here, let's say panel uh, one dot width. So that it appears here. And it still appears there. Oh, because fingers, fingers line to client. Okay, that's why that doesn't work. But we can line this to the right side. 
and this to client then 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 it should work ah here you see now now we can resize the panel too so this is just a basic example on how to create a splitter component um yeah let's quickly add a dynamic design time you can even assign events to like for instance when, when it's being moved and stuff like that so let's actually assign an an on moved event to it okay so let's start by going oops not there public declarations we had a procedure called uh, then splitter move a pipe sender and the object then in the implementation we say procedure tfim home dot and we select the then splitter move so this procedure would just basically let's actually just assign it to this then splitter then splitter dot on move colon equals then splitter move so this assigns this new procedure to the on move event of the dynamic splitter component let's actually just do something random such as this can change the panel to dot well i give it a random color something like that as well as and one okay that's something simple so every time it we oops we also have to do the um select both the both of the panels and we um make the parent background false okay then compile and now every time we this um splitter moves then it runs the procedure which changes the panels colors to a random color as you can see so this was just a basic, basic tutorial on how to create a splitter component dynamically i hope this helped you if this video helped you in any way please make sure to leave a like uh, subscribe for more videos share this video if you think it's well in one and comment below i'll see you in the next video Bye.